Krakatoa's eruption in May 1883 was spectacular, but beneath the surface, Krakatoa was refueling. An even greater eruption was gathering force out of sight and out of mind. Anak Krakatau is one of the fastest growing volcanoes in the world. Geologists are investigating its threat to the region. They have turned to the past to uncover what made its parents so deadly. In 1883, exactly 100 days after Krakatoa first blew, the volcano showed its true power. This final phase of eruptions began at six minutes past one on the afternoon of August 26th. All three volcanic peaks erupted simultaneously, hurling dense clouds of ash and smoke an astonishing 17 miles into the sky. The eruption of Krakatoa was one of the, the biggest volcanic events of the last few hundred years. And it would have been, to people observing it, it would have been like the, the, you know, the beginning of the end of the world, if you like. The power of this eruption was immense, like a giant jet engine aimed skywards. The air quickly became choked with tons of thick black ash blotting out the sun. The temperature, because of all the ash in the atmosphere, would be stifling. And if you were very near, on the, for example, the west coast of Java, you, you'd be getting the ash in your throat and in your eyes. It would have been you know, a real vision of hell. And a nightmare that showed no signs of ending. By the next morning of August 27, 1883, Krakatoa's three craters had been raging for more than 14 hours. Then, sometime between 5.30 and 10.02 a.m., the land was deafened by a series of four huge explosions. The noise was so loud it could be heard over 2,000 miles away in the Australian desert near Perth. The third was the loudest recorded noise in history, the equivalent to 200 megatons of TNT. 13,000 times the size of the bomb that destroyed Hiroshima. 